Keyshawn Davis versus Juan Carlos Burgos. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between Davis and Burgos is scheduled for 8 rounds to take place this coming weekend, this Saturday on the 10th of December. December 10, 2022. Live from the Garden, the big room in the Garden, Madison Square Garden, New York City, New York, USA, in the undercard of the Teofimo Lopez versus Sando Martin fight, which will be shown live on ESPN, ESPN Plus, and if you want to watch it with Spanish commentary, ESPN Deportes. Very good card in my opinion, you don't want to miss it. Uh, an event packed with full of talented rising names in the sport of boxing, rising prospects. It's, it's a very good fight, a uh, very good event. Uh, Keyshawn Davis, to those who don't know who he is, former Olympian, former medalist in the 2020 Olympic Games. Um, Keyshawn Davis, as a pro right now, he's currently 6-0, 5 wins coming by way of knockout TKO from Norfolk in Virginia, USA. Coming off a win against Omar Tienda Behena back in September. And now here he is back fighting one more time before the end of the year against Burgos. Burgos. Oh, man, it's a very good test for, for uh, Keyshawn Davis, in my opinion. Burgos is a former title contender. Uh, he's fought for the title multiple times before. He's now 34 years old from Mexico, 35 and 6, 3 draws, 21 wins, coming by way of Nakar TKO. Not as good as he used to, but still, he, he has the experience. He's been in there against some big names over the years. Uh, has a lot of miles in him, though, but he's taken a lot of punishment over the years. Uh, coming off a win against Jonathan Chonona Aguilar. Before that, he's, he got a draw and he lost to the likes of Starling Castillo, lost to Xavier Martinez, um, lost to Hector Tanahara, Devin Haney, all rising names. He fought for the world title against Mikey Garcia, who lost that fight in 2014. Um, he fought and uh, defeated Cesar Vasquez. He got a draw against Yo Roman Martinez. Um, man, he's fought, over, he's fought a lot of big names over the years. Uh, he fought against Hozumi Hasegawa. Uh, man, what the heck, man? This guy has been on for a while. And also 2010. I still remember reading about that fight and watching that fight back in the day. Um, who else has he fought? Uh, yeah, he's he's been around for... He, when did he turn pro? 20, 2004. He's been a pro for 18 years. That's crazy. 18 years. And he's 34 years old. So... So yeah, he has a lot of miles left. You know, he has a lot of miles already in him. Uh, does he have enough left in him to beat somebody like Keyshawn Davis? Uh, to be honest, no. Um, Keyshawn Davis, in my opinion, is one of the future big names in the sport of boxing. Future world champion, in my opinion. I already see him being world champion one day. Um, it's hard for me to see him lose this fight. Uh, I think Burgos will be a good test for him. Uh, Burgos, at this point in his career, is not as he used to years ago. Uh, but still, it's a good name to have in your resume, I guess, to have somebody like Burgos in your name early on in your career. Again, this is just the seventh pro fight of Keyshawn Davis. Um, he's going there against a much, much experienced fighter in Burgos, but like I said earlier, Burgos is not the same as he used to. Has, uh, has fought in a lot of big wars, talked a lot of punishment over the years. Um, Keyshawn Davis should be able to go out there and out break him apart and stop him, knock him out. I would say in the middle rounds. I think Burgos still has enough heart heart uh, determination and toughness left in him to last uh, the first half of this fight. So I say round uh, round five. Round five TKO in favor of Keyshawn Davis. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Thanks for listening and watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.